Australians are getting older, they have bigger debts and women now outnumber men. That's the initial findings from last year's controversial national census. Ross Greenwood has those details. Move over the bronze Aussie. You are no longer the typical Australian. Instead, meet Heidi Murphy, broadcaster and radio producer. She's 38 years old with two kids, two cars and lives in a major capital city in a house with a mortgage. It feels a, a little strange. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing, but uh, it's, it's not quite what I was expecting. According to the first glimpse of our national census, Heidi and 38-year-old women like her are now the typical Aussies. She was born here, so were her parents. She has British ancestry. A decade ago, the typical Australian home was owned outright, but today the typical homeowner now has a mortgage. It infers that families now have more costs, more financial stress than a decade ago. They might have the majority of their wealth, uh, over $400,000 in equity in that home, and so certainly the, the challenge of affordability is seen through this data. Your own perception of who is the typical Australian might also be changing, but that perception might well depend on where you live. In Queensland, the typical migrant comes from New Zealand. In Sydney, they're from China, and in Victoria, from India. But overall, across Australia, the typical migrant is a 44-year-old Englishwoman. The typical Aussie actually does have one parent born overseas. In the main, we are far more diverse than we've ever been, and that will continue to happen. But with all the controversy over the breakdown of the census website in August last year, and more than $30 million compensation paid out by computer giant IBM to the government, can the information be trusted? The data is uh, far more reliable than, than um, some people would have you believe. The full version of the census will be released in late June. Ross Greenwood, Nine News. A snapshot of the typical Victorian has been released detailing who they are and how they live. Based on data from last year's census, it reveals some significant changes to our population. If the Australian Bureau of Statistics staged a pageant, Jacinta Taylor would be a good chance at being Mrs Victoria. It actually makes me feel a bit more relevant and um, in society at home with kids, um, yeah, it sounds like there's a lot of other women in my situation. According to the first data released from last year's census, the Keelor Downs mum is pretty much the average Victorian. Jacinta is a woman who was born in Australia and studied to year 12. At least one parent was born overseas and she is married with a mortgage, two kids and two cars. I actually didn't think that most people had one parent born overseas. Next year she'll hit the average age of a Victorian, which is hard to guess. 35. 65. 28. 45. 48. 50. It's actually 37 and Jacinta's home is four bedrooms. The average Victorian's is three. Now the average Australian no longer owns a home outright, they own it with a mortgage. That's changed in the last decade. There's a significant gender gap for jobs at home. Females spend between five and 14 hours on domestic work a week, while males admitted they do less than five. I'm doing all the dinner prep and running the kids to different activities. Victoria's typical migrant was a female born in India. At the 2011 census, they were born in England. She speaks English at home and is 43 years old. In Queensland, the average migrant is from New Zealand and in New South Wales, it's China. 10 years ago, India wasn't even in the top four countries of birth, so quite the rise in the Indian migration into Victoria in the last decade. Paul Dowsley, 7 News.